So I found out last night that one of uh, close friends had passed away. I wanted to take a minute and talk about it. The older you get, you're not going to be able to escape bad things happening to people you love. Um, shit happens. And it's really sad. And I don't understand... Well, not that I don't understand, but I personally don't deal with bouts of addiction or depression. It's not something that, that I have. I've got a lot of friends who've fought through it and overcome and, and have had to continue fighting with it. And it just really, it's really tough. It's really, really, it's really sad for me that those people can't find in life what they're looking for or the chemical imbalance or any of these number of things. And he's someone that had been on the up and up. Um, it seemed like things were going well, had started powerlifting, had been talking to me about entering a meet seems like he would he was getting things going with a personal photography type stuff and I guess you know a couple bad moments lead to a couple bad days lead to lead to this and while I currently don't know the, the full story or what happened I believe addiction played a part in it in his in his battle with it I'm just really sad, sad to have lost a friend. I'm sad that his family and his daughter won't get to know all the greatness that he had in him. And I guess the bigger message of this is, I, yeah. If your friends are struggling, your friends need help, Try to help them find that. There are very qualified people out there. There are programs. You know, I know that this is something Chrissy's far more adept at talking about, and I'm, I'm not. I don't. <clears throat> I don't have those traits, and it's hard for me to understand them. And and I try to I try to wrap my head around what it must be like. And the only thing I can think of depression, right, is this chronic feeling and that it that you may be able to have good days and overcome it for 30 years or 35 years or 50 years but it only takes one really bad one just really sad. Sad my friend's gone. I'm sad he was unhappy. I'm sad he... I'm sad he felt the way he felt. I'm sad he couldn't find whatever it was he wanted. It's tough to see good, talented people have time cut short. And that time being stolen from them by depression or addiction or any of these other things is, it's fucking rough. So if you know anyone out there struggling who needs a hand and needs help and a friend, or you have friends who are going through and, and seem fine and seem clear-headed and clean, Tell them you love them. Tell them, tell them you're thinking about them. Tell them, tell them all those things. You know, be, be aware and be, be in their corner.
I guess that's really it. I don't, I don't have anything <laughs> inspirational or motivating or any of that to say. I'm just fucking sad and needed to, needed to vent about it. Needed to clear my head on some thoughts on it. And I don't know a better forum than sharing with you guys. I mean, I've, I've spoke to the involved parties and close friends, but this is about bigger message and maybe maybe help those around you. Maybe if you're someone who's who's fighting with it, get help, man. Like it's it, it's not a normal thing. It's not just as simple as I, I can fight through this. This isn't a you being weak. This is something that needs to be addressed. We wouldn't. No one, no one gives people a hard time for getting treatment for cancer. And I believe depression or addiction are just as, is just as deadly if they're untreated and unwatched. So stay diligent in, in your, stay diligent in your recovery. Be smart, stay around people that keep you right. There's nothing wrong with calling a friend and saying, hey man, I need a minute. <laughs> Love your friends and take care of everybody. Try to have a great day. Try to try to help those around you. Try to bring everybody up. And just be aware. Be aware that some people are having a rougher go than you. And that it's okay to ask for help in any circumstance. Alright. I miss you, brother. <laughs>